For a father, there are a few things in life that are more precious than your little girl. And I've long thought of this day in the hopes that my little girl would someday meet the man of her dreams who would love her as much as I do. Someone with the strength, the character, and the heart to be the love of her life. We are so, so blessed that these two hearts have found each other and that Andy is that man. Guess what? We are getting married today. Seems like just yesterday we got engaged on our trip of a lifetime. And before we knew it, it was our, our big day has arrived. In all the craziness and stress we have had these past few weeks, the only thing that calmed me is knowing that I get to spend the rest of my life with my best friend. A little gift for you to show you how much marrying you means to me. The Celtic Trinity knot symbolizes eternal life. I give you this to you with the promise of spending my entire life with you and for eternity after. I can only wish with eternal life comes eternal happiness for us in the rest of our days. I love you so much, and I can't wait to say it too at the altar in front of all of our loved ones. Oh, shoot. <laughs> In fact, it was just yesterday that Maureen and I were at Holy Family Hospital awaiting the arrival of our little girl. And like any great dad or good dad would do when my wife was sitting there having contractions, I, uh, I turned on the TV. When I turned on the TV, the weather was just coming on. The first thing I hear from the weatherman on the TV was, get ready folks because Hurricane Danielle is about to make landfall. And it was just yesterday that Maureen and I were sitting in our backyard on a warm, sunny day, and we're talking to Andy. And he's asking us for our daughter's hand in marriage. And we couldn't be happier to welcome such an amazing, caring man into our family. Danielle, as I write this, you are cleaning up the apartment in preparation for this weekend. <laughs> of course, I left it, this until you started to become worried, to the point that you compared me to Michael Scott on Pretzel Day. <laughs> this is my vow. As your partner, I will do everything in my power to love and support you through any endeavors you pursue. This includes the journey you are currently on. I am so proud of you for leaving your comfort zone and pursuit of helping others. Your dedication to the education of children from various backgrounds and life stories is something to admire. A lifetime of adventures, albeit enticing, cannot compare to one grand adventure of life with you. My only hope is that from this day forward until God says it's time to join our loved ones that we treat every day like an incredible journey. I could not ask for a better son that is honest and kind. Right, Danielle, you got somebody good, and you're as well. I wish you the best. I wish you all my love. I wish you years of happiness. Today we stand before our family and friends to take a vow to be with each other for the rest of our lives. But as I write these vows to you, I can't help but smile and thinking of the first time I met you. We were sophomores in college, and I will never forget the way my heart skipped a beat when I saw you and the way you looked at me. And we are almost seven years later, and as you're looking at me today, you still have my heart skipping a beat. Regardless of where we may travel next, where our careers take us, what lies ahead in the future, I know that you, Andy, will always be my greatest adventure. I love you forever and always. know Andy over these years has affirmed more and more that him and Danielle are meant for each other. What I saw in Andy the first time I met him was the same I saw in Danielle, kindness and gratitude. Those two characteristics will carry them through any obstacle they may encounter and lift them even higher throughout their marriage.
those days frozen in time in my heart have led us to here. A day that is a new beginning of a new life for Danielle and Andrew. One that I hope is filled with love and dreams and happiness that one day they will look back and remember the joy and the love that they're feeling today and remember it like it was yesterday. The bride and groom has asked me to keep this short, and I will happily oblige, but um, someone needs to tell me how to plug this PowerPoint in, and we'll get moving. No, I'm kidding. This is actually a wedding present for Danielle. Hold that for me. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Danielle, if you ever find yourself in a fight with Andrew and you need leverage, there are folders upon folders <coughs> in that USB with very sensitive information. And it is password protected, so, you know, he won't be able to. It's, uh, no, well, I'm going to. It's, it's one, two, three, four.